We have seen how to navigate around the view. That's very interesting, but we haven't talked about camera. As you can see in this scene, we have a camera, which is drawn here. The camera is in the object manager here. And if you want to see through the camera, you're going to click on this little icon. By doing so, I'm going to translate the view to the camera. We have a swift movement that show us that we are now the camera. Okay, when you are the camera, if you move around, uh, you're going to change uh, the coordinates of the camera. As you can see, if I'm doing that, orbiting around, I'm going to frame, for example, the flying saucer this way. If, if I exit the camera by clicking here, you can see our camera has changed. Okay, that's very important to note because uh, when you are the camera, you are moving the camera. If you want to create another camera, you're going to frame somewhere, for example, that cube. And I create here a camera by clicking. The new camera is here. We are not the camera because it's not selected here. The icon is grayed out. If I travel back backwards, we can see we have created a new camera. And this way I can create several cameras in the scene. Now if I want to switch from one camera to the other, I just have to click on those icons. So this camera to this one, to this one. And we have the swift movement showing where it's translating, jumping from one camera to another. If I click again on this camera, I'm on the editor camera. The editor camera is the user camera if you want. The camera you are going to use most of the time to work on the scene. The camera is just going to frame the scene because you are going to animate the camera, you want to save a perspective view. You can switch the camera here by going to camera, use camera, and all the camera in the scene are listed. Okay, and the default camera is the user camera. So if I'm going to the camera two, you can see it's selected here and we have that, that icon. If I go back here, I can use the default camera. I'm exiting the camera and using the whole camera of the scene. There are a few other ways to create exit enter camera. If, if you can notice here we have a text with default camera, camera 2, camera 1, and so on. Default camera. I really like to use that one, which is a HUD. And to make it appear, because by default it's not here, you have to go to Option and then Configure, Shift V. And in Configure, you're going to HUD and click here on the camera. So, camera is going to show your camera here. So, anytime you know exactly which camera is selected. See, camera one, camera, no camera, which is a default camera. And it's much easier to switch from each one from this menu. The default camera can be changed. That's, if you want to do that, it's also in the viewport. So still you go to option and configure shift V and if we go to the views here we can see here we have a camera link camera if I control here we can have here several options and we can change the focal length for example to have a wider perspective or longer one okay so that's important to know because this way you can have a wider perspective on your scene Maybe you want to have that. And if I click left on the arrows here, we're going back to the default setting of 36 millimeters. Okay, so here I'm manipulating the default camera again uh, by going to the configure shift V. Of course, if I want to change any of the camera in the scene, for example, this camera too, I'm going to select the camera 
and then change the settings here in object in focal length. So we're not going to dwell much uh, more on the cameras because that's not the subject of the lesson, but it's still interesting to know and important uh, for, uh, when you start uh, using Cinema 4D.